Hi, I'm Dory DeCamillis from Red Dot Gallery. We're going to learn how to draw an analog clock face. Okay, I started by making circles. You can make that with a compass or outline or do it freehand depending on how perfect you want to be. Then before I do the numbers, I want to go ahead and draw where the numbers are going to be so that they don't get all crooked. So I'll draw my 12, 3, 6, and 9 first, and now I'm going in and doing the numbers in between. From there, I'll go ahead and write my numbers. I don't want to do anything heavy yet, just a light line first, because odds are something is going to be a little off, and I can erase it and come back and fix it. Especially when I get into the 11, 10 and 11 numbers, they can be tricky because they are so close together. I hope I'm getting my numbers in order. Nine. The 10 and the 11 can be a little tighter there. Now, I think I like how they are, so I'll go in and put a little more definition to my numbers. On circular numbers, you can make one side a little thicker to give it a little more interest. I'm not doing a whole lot of detail on that on this picture to keep it quick. Now in the center, I'll draw my center and I'll draw my hands. Make sure your shorthand and longhand are distinguishable so it's easy to tell what time it is. I'll draw a little second hand and I'm going to go ahead and outline my clock frame a little darker. You can even fill it in, but I'll go ahead and leave it simple here. And now that it's done, I think I want to darken my hands just a little bit more and give them a little bit of flare from there. I decided to go ahead and fill in the frame. It makes the clock face stand out. When you surround an image by a dark frame, it makes what's inside pop out. So I think it looks a little better this way. So that is how you draw an analog clock face.